Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever in the hell you are in the world. And welcome to another edition of Mark's Inspiration. Glad you could join me here today as always. Today's topic is going to be overthinking. I have a subscriber, his name is, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but I'll try. <coughs> Uzair. Uzair? Uzair commented. Hey, Mr. Mark, can you make a video about overthinking, how it affects society and having better sleep? <clears throat> well, Uzair, if that's right, sorry if it's not. Um, overthinking, yes, it can limit your sleeping. So what do I think about overthinking? Well, I've been thinking about overthinking. <laughs> Here's the deal with that. You're trying to run the show. Whenever I'm overthinking, I'm trying to figure everything out about what's going on in my life or what's happening or what I want to happen or what I'm afraid is going to happen that I'm afraid is not going to happen. So I want to do this to make it happen. <clears throat> yeah, that's confusing. And that's just as confusing as what's going on in your head when you're doing this overthinking. You have to learn to let go. It's important to think but only to the point of where you go through the variables that you know, not all the possible ones, because you could never go through all the possible variables that could happen in any situation. But just go through what you know, anticipate the possible outcomes, and you have to let it go. <clears throat> Figure out from this thinking what you need to do, if any action that you need to take, and then take it and shut the hell up. Shut your mind off. You have to shut off your mind. How do you do that? I find meditation to be helpful. You may, I'm not sure what religion you are, you may find a prayer <clears throat> that directs your thinking towards your, uh, your God, whatever your perception of that may be. I find that very helpful to get like a mantra uh, that you say over and over again that takes your focus off of your problem, whatever it is you're overthinking about, and put the focus on a power greater than yourself. Because a lot of times we have a hard time stopping this mind. Now, I'm a firm believer in thinking, contemplating, but most people don't think. What we're talking about here, overthinking, is really worry. It's thinking about really what you don't want to come to pass. It's a form of negative faith or negative belief, if you like. And what this does, it will bring to you what you don't want. I've spent many nights in bed overthinking or worrying or being afraid of something. And 99.9% .9 of the time, it never comes to pass. But if you continue to overthink, especially before you go to sleep, or worry about something that you don't want to happen or you're afraid it's going to happen, eventually you will bring something similar, maybe not the exact thing, but you will bring a similar, uh, I'm gonna say tragedy or uh, a similar thing into your life that you don't want that will correspond with this negative belief or negative uh, faith or thinking that you continue to focus on. Because whatever you dominantly think about, you will bring into your life. So as I said before, you can use a prayer or an affirmation that is the opposite of what you're afraid is going to happen or what you're overthinking about. Let me try to come up with an example. Let's say, <clears throat> here's, here's a good one. Let's say my car is not running well. The transmission's slipping a little bit, which mine is, and it has for the last 50,000 miles. Okay, I don't worry about it too much. I've kind of gotten used to it, but occasionally I think, man, what if that transmission goes out? Because then I won't have a car to drive for a while and it's quite costly to get that fixed. I fix the one in my van. So let's say every day before, or every night before I go to sleep, I'm thinking about this transmission, I'm thinking about how much it's going to cost, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do while my car is broke down, I have to drive the work van, uh, and all the reasons why I don't want that to happen. And if I think about that every night before I go to bed, it won't be long that that transmission will probably go out and I'll have to have it repaired. Or something similar, some occurrence in my life will happen that I don't want because I'm thinking about that every night before I go to bed. I'm thinking about my transmission going out 
all the trouble it's going to cause, the money it's going to cost, etc., etc. So as I said, the only way to combat this negative thinking, <coughs> this uh, fear thinking, is to find a prayer that, like I said, it goes along with your religion or your beliefs, or an affirmation. Uh, for example, I would say maybe my car is running great. I, I got 300,000 miles out of my car. Just anything, whatever works for you. And you say that over and over again. And as you say it, when that fear comes up about the car breaking down, when you say it, you visualize your car uh, running 300,000 miles. Visualize yourself talking to a friend and telling him about how you got 300,000 miles out of that car. The transmission just it used to slip, but it, it made it all the way. Um, the motor was good. You changed the oil every 3,000 miles and all the reasons why it made 3,000 miles. And this is what you need to focus your thinking on. Whenever you have anything that you're worried about or you're overthinking about, usually when you're overthinking, that means worry. Or that's fear. We don't usually overthink about things that we want to happen, although we should. We should monitor our thoughts and be careful of what is going on in our in our inner conversations. Very important, because whatever you have these inner conversations about over and over, your dominant thinking, you will bring into your life. So we all have a problem with overthinking sometimes. And as I said, usually it's in the direction of fear or something we don't want to happen. But we need to reverse that and change that into the opposite. Think about what you want to happen. Overthink, if you will, about what you want to happen in your life and you will bring that or something better into your life. What you dominantly think about or what you dominantly that you want or what you dominantly think about that you fear will, will not always bring exactly that same thing into your life, but it will bring corresponding occurrences similar to these dominant thoughts into your life. Not the, not the immediate thoughts, not the, oh, I'm afraid I'll have an accident uh, today when I go to work. It's the dominant day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. Yes, some people dominantly think about something every day for months, for years, a long time, until eventually they bring something similar to that into the life, into the life, into their life. So you can do the same thing except use that thinking to bring what you want into your life instead of what you fear, okay? And what happens is a lot of times people also, how it affects our society, is people get depressed from these fearful thoughts and these dominant negative uh, trains of thought, and they'll go out to uh, seek out a psychiatrist or psychologist, and they'll put them on medicine because that's what doctors know to do, and then they dull down our senses. It takes away the fear, but it also takes away our drive and motivation. I have nothing against psychologists or psychiatrists or medicines. I've, I've never went to a psychiatrist. I have been to a psychologist and I have taken certain medicines. I don't take anything now, I haven't for years, but it did help me get through a time where I needed that. But I will say this, it's just a, it's a um, temporary uh, solution for the symptom because the depression or the anxiety or the fear is just a symptom of the problem. And if you don't work on the problem, the medicine will just alleviate the, the pain or the symptom for a while, and you still have the problem when the medicine quits working, as they all do eventually. So I'm not telling you to get off your medicines, okay? If it's working for you, all I'm saying is use that time that it gives you some relief to look within yourself and find out what is causing the depression what is causing the problem and bring that up to the surface and deal with it and get rid of it. And then you may be able to uh, make it in life without taking any kind of medicines, which is what I prefer myself. Okay, that's all I have time for today. I hope this has been of value to you. I hope this helped you, Uzir. You can tell me how to pronounce your name. <laughs> and uh, have a great day, I'll see you tomorrow.